Hey, how are you doing again? Um, this time we're going to go a little further on uh, using the TVM solver, that's on the graphing calculator, to figure out uh, monthly payments when you go and get a vehicle. This is a pretty cool thing to have because uh, sometimes we go and sit in the dealership's office and we just let them punch on the computer and they tell us this and that. And uh, this way you, you have the power to say, hey, I learned this in math class you're cheating me here or you know you can you can verify to see if what they're saying is true because uh, yeah car dealerships are definitely trying to get the most out of you okay and we're gonna deal with car dealerships here in this lesson and uh, let's start off with the first question as you can see right above us here it says determine the total co cost including 14 percent tax on a new SUV you know what uh, the worksheets tend to go with 14%, but nowadays we're at 13% in Canada, so I just can't. It wouldn't. It'd be wrong of me to uh, to make that 14%. So let's just stick with 13%, and there we go, because that's what we're actually paying nowadays. Yeah, up to date, just like that. Okay, so I'm back. Determine the total cost, including 13% tax on a new SUV selling for $34,599 at a car dealership. So, don't mind the background noise. First of all, I'd never pay this much for a vehicle. I've already told you guys this in class, but some people do, and heck, this is just a question. So, my, my advice would be buy used and all of that stuff, but you know what? I'm just going to show you how to use the TVM solver, so we won't worry about the price here. Well, how do you figure out 13% tax? I'm assuming you already know how to do that, but let's uh, let's check it out really quick here. You're just going to go 34, 599. Then you're going to times that by change the percent into a decimal, 0 0.13, and then that will give us the tax. Okay. So basically, uh, I'm going to type in three. 4599 and I'm going to multiply that by 0.13 and there is our tax. Ouch! What a hit, eh? Look at how expensive that is. 4497.87 4497.87 That's a lot of tax. And so the total price of the vehicle then it's just these two numbers added up. So I'm just going to move that over there. That's just uh, 34599 plus the tax, 4497.87. Our total price for this vehicle is 3000 sorry, 39000 Ouch. 096 so thirty nine thousand ninety six dollars and eighty seven cents that's the total price for this vehicle okay with thirteen percent tax now when you buy a vehicle there's actually a lot of other things that they add on they they have surcharges and all kinds of other things they add on to this vehicle transport charges I don't know like you name it so this price ends up going up pretty darn fast if you want air conditioning well tack on another couple thousand. So it's pretty nasty when you buy a new vehicle, it's pretty tough. So again, used is definitely the way to go. But can I go back to this, this method that we just calculated tax? In case you don't already know, it is way faster on a calculator to just go 34, 599. And instead of timesing it by 0 0.13, just say to yourself, well, wait a minute, this is 100% right and we're adding 13 percent tax right how much is that well that's 113 percent and change this percent into a decimal and you get I'm gonna write it up here 1.13 if you do that on a calculator okay I'll do it 34599 times 1.13 look at that you get the same answer you get the same thing. Oops. Look at my arrow there. Hopefully it's in the right spot. You get the same answer here that we had right here. And it's all done in one step. 
Okay, so you get this answer immediately just by doing this special little thing here in the bottom, in the yellow. Okay, let's move on to other things because so far you're like, wait a minute, I wanted to do the TVM solver here. Okay, so the next question, it says, well, suppose you have a down payment of $4,000 and you finance the balance. That means you're going to pay the rest off making monthly payments. Okay, now you had four grand to put towards this vehicle, so let's do that right off the top. First of all, 39096. So we have 39096 point, what was it? 87. That's how much this vehicle is. But you have a down payment of $4,000. Nice. That's really going to help. So just subtract $4,000 and you will get, this is what the vehicle cost, uh, 35096.87. This is how much you're going to pay for the vehicle after the $4,000 down payment. Okay, this is what you're going to finance. Now, this is the good news about car dealerships. They'll often finance, or in other words, give you a loan for this amount of money, cheaper than the bank will. So if you're going to finance a vehicle, if you're going to pay it off in monthly payments, the dealership is sometimes a good choice. All right, so let's get out the TVM solver here. Let's move it over so you can see what's going on. By the way, it, let's read the question too. It says, the interest rate is 4.8% compounded monthly for four years. Let's just underline the important stuff. 4.8% compounded monthly for four years. Find the monthly payment. Okay, find the monthly payment. All right, so we're going to get the calculator out here. And let's figure this out. Do you remember where the TVM solver is? We've done this before in a previous video. So you hit Apps, then you hit Finance, and then TVM Solver. And then you look at the question carefully and you say, okay, well, you learned from the last video 4.8%. You just type it in right there. Present value, well, that's the money that we're borrowing. So it's, uh, what is it, uh, 35096.87. There we go. Um, we don't know the monthly payment. Future value is going to be zero, so just leave it at zero, because in the future you'll pay it all off. The payments per year, it already said before, monthly payments, so PY is 12. Now we haven't done PY before on a video here, so this is new. PY is 12, and the compounding periods per year is also 12. Okay, it says compounded monthly in the question. Now look at the top. Now here's the important part. This is something different. In the past, n was the number of years, and it says four years. But with payments, whenever we're talking about payments, n is not the number of years. Okay? n is now the number of payments. So if we're talking four years, we could times that by 12 payments per year. Look at that. It's 48 payments. Okay? So N, when you're doing payments, is not the number of years. You should write that down somewhere because people forget that all the time and then they get the wrong answer. Okay? So now all we have to do is go to pay payment right here and do just like we did in the last video. Hit alpha and enter and there's our monthly payment. This is the monthly payment that we're going to have to make. $805.08. Let's write that down the payment okay is $805.08 per month okay that's pretty expensive that's also the fact that we bought an SUV which i mean they're very expensive why can't you just squeeze into a smaller car people it'll help you it saves on gas and uh it's cheaper okay it's better for everybody except for the person that likes to stretch out and sleep in the back, I guess. But anyway, here's our monthly payment. Okay, so we've done that. Are there more questions? Of course there are. Here they are. What is the total amount, total amount paid for this vehicle? What are you really paying for this vehicle? Well, here's what you do, and you can always watch this video again if you forget. You can always, to find the total amount paid for the vehicle, take the monthly payment, Okay, take the monthly payment and just times it by 
the number of months that you have to pay it. Okay? And then don't forget, add, if you made a down payment in the past, make sure you add the down payment because that's also something that you can't just leave out. You paid it, you might as well include it. That's what you paid for the vehicle. Okay, don't forget to add the down payment. So let's do that. The monthly payment for this vehicle is $805.08. $805.08. We're going to times that by the number of months. Well, what was the number of months? Well, you might remember. Let's get it back. It's right here. 48 months. It's four years, and it's 12 times per year. So 48 months. All right? So first do that on the calculator. You can go second function, quit if you want, and then just get back to a regular. Just go 805.08 and times that by 48. Okay, so we've got that number, 38,643, 38,643, and I think there was 84 cents. Let's go back and make sure I, yes, there was. Now, what are we forgetting to do here? Well, that's what we're paying for the vehicle, but don't forget, you made a down payment. You made a down payment of, what was it, $4,000? There it is. You made a down payment of $4,000. So you better add that on, because you did pay it. OK. So how much did we really pay for this vehicle? I'm just adding it all up. Well, 8 plus 4 is 12, and then carry the 1 over. So here's what you really paid for the vehicle. Are you surprised? You went into the dealership thinking you're only going to pay uh, $34,600 about. And instead, look what you're really paying. $42,643.84. That's what happens if you make payments on the vehicle. They're getting even more money out of you. Those dealerships, they know what they're doing. Okay? So what's the total amount paid for the vehicle? This huge number right here. $42,643.84. Are there any more questions they might ask? Well, let's check. Sure enough. How much interest did you pay for this vehicle? This is a good question, because this is the point when you actually see what you really paid for this vehicle. Uh, let's see if we can take all of this. Control C. Let's take that over. Okay, so what you do is you take the amount. We don't need that. You take this amount. Oops. The total price that you paid. Okay. And then you subtract what uh, what you were uh, you originally agreed to pay, or how much how much the vehicle originally cost? Okay, so here was the total cost for the vehicle three nine zero oh, nine six. So you take this, Control C. I'm going to take it with me. There it is. Oh man, it didn't take everything. What was it? Three nine zero oh, nine six. OK? There it is. So this is how much you really have paid in total. And here's the amount of the vehicle with tax. OK? Subtract these two numbers, and that will be the amount that, that it, we paid in interest, how much we paid extra, how much money the dealership got from us. OK? Let's do it. 42 this is going to be sad 643.84 but it's good it's realistic and uh you know it's good if math shows you something important about real life for once right 39096.87 i'm just subtracting these two numbers and here's the answer we have given the dealership for free just because they lent us the money 3546.97 35 Four six point nine seven. That's right, three thousand five hundred and forty-six dollars and ninety-seven cents. That's how much you gave the dealership, or I did. Depends who bought the vehicle. I know I wouldn't have, but that's how much we gave the dealership, just because they lent us that money. Okay, that is the interest that we paid for the vehicle.
Okay, please rewind this video so that you can see how to do things because you're going to get a bunch of questions that are all like all of this stuff, the stuff you see in green. Okay, okay. I hope that is enough for now. Sorry to blind you with that white page there. Cheers.